Hello, this is Rodolfo Vargas from Friday to Viernes, and today we're going to be talking about the war between our weaknesses and our strengths. So, so what do we do, guys? So, do we do we work on our weaknesses, or do we or do we work in our strengths? What do we do? Let's just say we're in a war and we're about to fight the enemy, and we are 3,000 years ago. What do we do? Or we are in the, in the 1,500, 1,400, I don't know, but we're about to go into a war. You are good in the sword. You know how to fight with the sword. You're really good in the sword. And then I tell you, listen, man, you need to get better with bow and arrow because right now we're about to attack the enemy. And then you come and you tell me, Rodolfo, but I'm not getting the bow and arrow. I don't even know how to shoot. I don't know how to do that. But it's said, you need to get better at that because that's your weaknesses. And that's your weakness and you need to go and fight the enemy. You will tell me, Lord, for you crazy. I'm good in the sword. So sometimes, um, that's one of the issues that we have. Because all of us, we have weaknesses and we have strengths. One of my mentors, one of the most important mentors that, that I ever had, he told me, Lord, for listen, man, when you meet with people, uh, that person might be an expert in something and that you don't know anything about. And you, Rodolfo, you're also an expert in something that they don't know anything about. So, all of us, we have strengths and we have weaknesses. All of us, we're experts in something. Maybe you're an expert in uh, playing video games. Maybe you're an expert in, uh, in uh, playing soccer. Maybe you're an expert in whatever. You, you are an expert. Maybe you're an expert in business. But today, I wanted to talk specifically about what do we do when we have weaknesses and strengths, especially when you're an entrepreneur running your own business. What do we do? Okay, point number one. All this topic about strength and weakness, weaknesses about in working has to do with our energy. Where are we, are we going to uh, focus our energy? Because we, we have a certain limited amount, amount of energy. And you need to know that. You need to know that sometimes you're going to have to go and work on your weaknesses or strengths and that is going to require a lot of energy. So let me ask you a question. Where do you require more energy? Where do you require more energy? Where do you get more exhausted? You know the answer. When you go and work on something that is new and is one of your weaknesses, you get tired more. You get tired faster. But when you're working on your strengths, you're like flying. You feel like this is not even work. I enjoy the time. So make sure that you know that. Make sure that you're gonna, it's going to require a lot of energy. There is a book called Think Fast, Think Slow. If you haven't read that book, I recommend you the book. Excellent book. One of the Nobel Prizes uh, for in economics. And the guy said, there are things that we do that require uh, a, a thinking slow because it's something new that we're doing. We're not used to do the stuff. And there are things that is just thinking fast, that we just go and do it, that is natural for us. So I want you to, I want you to know that. I want you to know that if you're going to work on your weaknesses, it's gonna require a lot of energy coming from you. Point number two, you need to understand the concept of centralized control and decentralized control. What is, uh, these words is, might sound really good, but it's very simple. Centralized controls mean this. When you're working on your weaknesses, you have to centralize your control. You're in control of a lot of, a lot of stuff, and you have to be present. Let's just say I'm running a sales force, and let's just say our sales force uh, lacks, um, let's just say, processing business. They are not good in a, they are good at selling, but they're not good in processing business. So I'm going to, I'm going to, work on their weakness which is processing business so it requires a lot of control coming from you okay now what is decentralized control when you're working on your strength you decentralize control let's just say again i have the same example and the sales force are really getting looking for clients and that's what they that's their strength that they don't require too much control from the manager for them so decentralized control, you, you don't work too much on the controlling your, your people because they're working on, your, on their strengths. By the way, I'm not telling you which one is better. I'm just telling you um, to go and you analyze which one you want to do. Work on your weakness or work, or work on your strength. Now, number three, I recommend everybody, and we did it over here in the office, to make a list of all your weaknesses 
and make a list of all your strengths. I'm a big advocate of working on your strengths. I'm crazy about it. I'm crazy about this stuff. Now, you need to make your own case. So here's what I told you. Make a list of your weaknesses. Make a week of your strengths. Uh, minimum five. No more than 10, by the way. No, 10 is too many. So around five, six, that's a good number to do. Okay, five to six weaknesses, five to six strengths, and what you're good at. And, and let me tell you, I'm not talking about personal traits. I didn't do this example with personal traits. What is a personal trait? Uh, I'm lazy, that's a weakness. No, 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 that's not a weakness. You're lazy, okay? The, you know, uh, that's a personal trait. You, what is, could be a weakness uh, in business? I'm not good in, uh, let's just say, finding clients. Or I'm not good in, uh, um, I'm not good in uh, processing business. I'm not good in marketing. That could be a weakness. What is the strength? The strength I'm really getting close in the sale. I'm really good in, uh, in, uh, uh, in advertisement. I'm really good in, uh, I'm really good in building relationship uh, uh, with the customers. So write down your weaknesses, write down your strengths, and make a line. And then let me tell you what, what comes next. Number four. Circle one weakness, the, the biggest, and circle one strength. And this is when you need to decide which one are you gonna work on it, okay? Um, I decided that I was gonna make, I wanna put all my effort on my strengths. And you know what they gave me? They gave me a peace of mind. They gave me, I'm gonna work on my strength and I'm gonna dominate the market on my strength. I'm not, I'm not be, I'm gonna be the best one in my weakness. I'm not, I'm not even, let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm a number three in my weakness, and maybe if I work on it, I might get to number five. But in my strength, I'm a number seven, and I can get that strength to a 10. That's the idea of you working on your strength. Then you know what's the idea? That's point number four. You can become the greatest in your field. You could become the greatest on your field. You can become the master in your field if you work in your strength. Imagine Messi, one day you come and say, Messi, you're really good in playing, playing football, you're really good in playing soccer, but you know what? Uh, I think that you should work on playing golf. What would you tell Messi? Why would you tell that? Would that be crazy, you telling that? What if you say Michael Jordan comes and Michael Jordan, you know, I'm the greatest basketball player of all time. I think that you should start like teaching in high school because you'll be a great teacher in high school. Would that be crazy? That's his weakness. But he worked, he worked so much in his strength that he became the greatest. That you see that in Messi, and you see that in businesses too. You see that in business where, where Apple says, we're gonna create the company that is gonna be the great on my niche. We're gonna be the greatest at this, the greatest design, the greatest the speed and everything. We're gonna market into that. And then the other company comes and says, we're gonna be the, the, the greatest uh, computer in the entire world, whatever it is work on your strength. Maybe you're young in business and one of your weaknesses is you're young. But maybe your strength is also that you're young. And maybe because you're young, you're great in social media. Why don't you use that strength? That's your strength. Why are you trying to do the business the old way just because somebody told you that you need to work on your weakness? Maybe you're somebody who's a baby boomer. Maybe it's a little bit in the, in, the, in the late 50s, early 60s, and you put your weakness, my weakness is social media, but my strength might be that I'm great in relationship with people. Why don't you go and use your strength and become the greatest in relationship with people? Maybe you are a generation X and you have kids. Maybe you are in your 30s and your 40s and you have kids and you're in business. And maybe your weakness is that you don't have enough time to spend time with your, with your kids. And maybe your strength is that, that, that you could create a system for you to be able to spend time with the family. You could create that business yourself. Work on your strength. And I could talk about this the entire time. But let me tell you, something weird happens when you start working on your strengths. And like Jim Brown says, I work harder on myself than I do on my job. At the end of the day, guys, the important thing is that you're working on your craft. You're working on yourself. And the last thing is this. When you work on your strength, what's the formula? What's the formula? You guys are ready? And this is from the book Mastery from Robert Greene. And what's the number? What's the formula? The formula is 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours is what it takes for you to master a craft. You, how, how many, how, I don't know, but more, some people say seven, seven years, 10 years, whatever it is, but 10,000 hours of working on something, you become a master. 
and that would be amazing if you can become a master of something because our world is lacking masters a world there is a lot of people uh, that know a lot in a world they know a little bit about a lot which is good you need to know but it's one thing that you need to become a master and that's the case between our weaknesses and our strength so with that being said this is Rodolfo Vargas from Friday to Viernes don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to comment and send me ideas all these ideas I get them because you the fans you put me over there what do you want to hear what do you want to what do you want to hear next so take care guys bye bye